Hey guys, Reef Spy here. Today I'm going to be doing a video on mixing two-part. If you're not aware of what two-part is, it is basically just a chemical solution used to maintain the levels of calcium and alkalinity in a reef tank. There are several different ways of maintaining these levels, and two-part is the method I use in my reef. Other options I am aware of include calcwasser, water changes, or running a calcium reactor. The reason we even care about maintaining these levels is for coral health and growth, especially with our stony corals, since they use these chemicals for building their skeletal structure. It is important that these levels stay as consistent as possible, since many corals do not react positively to large fluctuations in calcium or alkalinity. In the case of large parameter swings, this could even cause death in some of the more sensitive species. These chemicals can be added manually, but the best method is to use an automatic doser. This lessens the chance of over or under dosing and ensures a consistent dosing schedule. This is how I do it. I use dosing pumps controlled by digital timers. This allows me to slowly add the desired amount over the course of the day. When dosing two-part, it is important to stagger the schedules so you're only dosing one of the chemicals at a time. If the chemicals are added at the same time, or not given proper time to absorb into the system, you run the risk of the liquid forming a precipitate and falling out of the water column where it will be of little use to the corals. To maintain levels of around 8.3 dKH alkalinity and 425 parts per million calcium in my reef, I am currently dosing 165 milliliters of calcium and 165 milliliters of alkalinity daily. It is important to test your system frequently and make adjustments where necessary, since these numbers are not written in stone and can change at any time, depending on growth spurts, new additions, losses, or anything else that would affect the consumption of these chemicals in the system. Now that's about as far in depth as I'm going to get into these elements because what I say next just adds to the complexity. Two-part, in reality, is a three-part system. That's right. Alongside calcium and alkalinity, we have magnesium. I encourage you to take the time and research the subject more, as there are far more qualified sources on the internet than I am who can explain how all three of these chemicals interact. But in my understanding, calcium and alkalinity are not very abundant in the water column and get depleted quickly, which is why they need to be dosed and replenished daily. Magnesium, on the other hand, is very abundant in our saltwater mix and is not consumed very quickly. This is why magnesium takes a backseat to the other two in daily dosing. However, it does remain a very important parameter to maintain. Magnesium acts as a buffer and allows calcium and alkalinity to coexist peacefully without interacting with each other and falling out of the water column. If you are having trouble raising the levels of either alkalinity or calcium, there's a good chance your magnesium levels are too low and upsetting the general balance these three chemicals require. In my reef tank, I have a magnesium level of around 1,345 parts per million, and I am able to maintain this level by manually dosing every few weeks when the test indicates the number has dropped. Now that we have covered what two-part is and why we want it, let's discuss how we get it. For small reef aquariums, where you only require a few milliliters a day, it is easiest to just buy a pre-made solution. If you're dosing larger amounts, then the other option of mixing your own solution becomes more economical. There really isn't a whole lot to it. You could buy the dry chemicals in either half-gallon or full-gallon containers. I use the Bulk Reef Supply brand of chemicals. After referring to the handy instruction card, just measure out the proper amount of dry chemicals. For the calcium mixture, this is two and a half cups or approximately 600 milliliters of calcium chloride. This is added to a gallon container and topped off with RODI water. a 
funnel helps reduce the risk of a mess. When properly mixed, the solution will be clear without any solids present. I like to mix my solution a day or two before I know I need it because sometimes it can take a while for all the solids to dissolve. But if you let it sit for a while and give the container a shake, it will do the trick. The procedure for alkalinity and magnesium is the same. Measure out the proper amount of chemicals, add in some RODI water, and shake. It's also a good idea to label your containers since they all look the same once they are mixed. I think that pretty much covers everything I had to say about two-part today. If you're new to dosing, I hope you found this video helpful, and I encourage you to do more research on this subject, as there is a lot more information out there that I did not cover in this short video. As always, I enjoy getting the comments, so please leave some below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Okay guys, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.